Welcome everybody to the delightfully overpowered run of Demon Souls. And uh, basically it is what it sounds like. I'm going to be playing Demon Souls with a delightfully overpowered character. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for me because I've beaten this game about six times. Um, I had to play I had to play a bunch of new game pluses in order to get a hundred percent in this game. Yes, I have 100 percent of Demon Souls completely on the up and up as well. Um, did everything myself, farm the pure blade stone, which a lot of people swear is one of the hardest things to find in any game ever. Uh, it's pretty hard to find, but uh, I got one. And uh, yeah, 100 percent of Demon Souls. And it was awesome. It was a fun time. So I've beaten the game about six times over. And now I'm just ready to kick back and enjoy the game. Just really kind of roll over it, if at all possible. So I'm going to be playing as a delightfully overpowered character. His name's Cockburn. And uh, he's the manliest lumberjack out west. Although in this game he's going to be a sorcerer. A sorcerer who also wields a sword. So I, I guess he's kind of a battle mage type type dude. Uh, his class is Temple Knight, but his class doesn't really matter because I I uh, gave myself a, a small uh, loan of ten million souls to spend uh, whenever I actually get to the level up lady, which means I have to beat the first uh, the first two areas, I believe, without uh, losing all those souls. So that's going to be the big challenge here. Uh, beating the first two areas without losing my 10 million souls. Uh, it's a small loan. A small loan of 10 million. And, uh, you know, just like the president. And uh, once I can spend those souls, I'm going to be doing hella leveling up. Hella leveling up. And uh, from then on, it's going to be a fun time. Alright, let's see what we got. I gave myself some stuff. Yeah, that's for later. Uh, can't equip it yet because I don't have the stats for it. I gave myself all the rings so I can use those at my discretion. Um, do, 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 do. Some crucial items. Very good. Do, 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 do. Sorry, this is the boring part. We haven't started the, uh, the speed run yet. There we go. Those fire bombs are for uh, Phalanx, the first boss. Since I can't start with um, what you call it, I can't start with any spells. Like normally, you'd be able to start with one spell, and if you start with the fire spell, well, then you can just throw that at the first boss. However, I don't have the fire spell. Now, without further ado, time for the speed run, shall we? Hopefully everything's recording okay, uh, because I'm only going to be doing this run once. And, uh, yeah, it better record. Sure as hell better record. Because uh, I do not want to lose this priceless footage. So, yeah, this is the first area. Uh, it's pitch black. Can't see a damn thing in here. Um, I don't think you can die here, although I've never tried. Or I've never like, <laughs> I've never actually died here, so I can't corroborate that. But at least in this very first area here, I think if you run out of health, you just keep going. You know, you're at zero health, but it's like you're still at full. You know, just nothing happens. Um, so that's the very first area, and now it's going to send you to the second half of the tutorial zone, I guess you could call it. And there's actually a boss in the uh, second half of the tutorial zone. And that boss can definitely kill you, but there's no penalty for dying to it. Um, you just get sent to the next area. And you can have a rematch with that boss later on, so it's, it's okay. Um, I'm going to probably actually try to kill it. The fastest thing to do would be to just let it kill me. Um... But why not? I might just go ahead and try to kill it. <laughs> might lose, might not. We'll go for it. 
There's no penalty for losing. I got nothing to lose. Might as well try. Um, after that, we'll go to the Nexus. And from the Nexus, get this guy. Get that guy. Ooh. And yeah, then it'll be on to the first real area with the first real boss. And I'll have to clear that in order to level up. So that's the big goal for this first episode of Demon Souls. More on that in a moment. Here's the first boss. Kind of optional, you can lose to him, it's okay. I'm gonna two hand my spear right now because a shield is actually useless in this fight. Probably should use my turpentine as well. Oh, not too late for that. Whoa! That was a nasty swing. Oh, he got me that time. Son of a bitch. Great, I can't fucking do anything. Okay, let's try that again. Um, it's still early enough for me to reload my backup save. Um, as I would have to start from the beginning every time I reload that save because uh, the game auto-saves. Auto uh, once you start playing, boom, auto-saving. So, yeah. Yeah, the only way you can truly go backwards is to reload reload a save from the beginning. I don't know why I can't talk right now. Um, in any case, let's do this. Let's fight this guy. It's still early enough to reload a save. Whatever. Let's do this. Huh. Well, slightly better fight that time. He still got me, but at least I got to show you guys a little bit of what that fight looks like. Uh, it would have been kind of a waste if I had just kept the footage from before. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these eyes. There we go. Yep, no soul form for me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good on that. So now we're going to the first real area where I'm going to fight a boss that's significantly less difficult than the one I just fought. Yeah. The last few times I fought the Vanguard Demon, I actually won. So I'm a little off my game right now. I think I just need some time to kind of get started and um, get used to the controls again, you know, so forth. Of course, once I get through this next area, I'm going to be insanely overpowered. But I'm just going to have to tread very lightly for this first area. No speed running, no uh, charging forward yet. Those things will come. Episode 2 and onward, going to be a lot of speed running. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be stress relief for me after all the struggling that I've done with this game. But for right now, episode 1, got to be careful. Alright, this dragon is absolutely the bane of my existence. It hangs out in one of the later levels and just kind of nukes you from orbit, which is ridiculous. Uh, it's, it's one of the things in the Soul series that I really don't like. How there, there are always these, these uh, sections that have a dragon kind of nuking you from above, and there's not really anything that you can do about it. Because it's like way up high, and the only real way to, to actually take the dragon out is to shoot at it with a bow from like a, a spot where it can't hit you back, basically. So you just like lurk there and snipe, and it's so cheesy. So yeah, I'm not, not a fan of those uh, those uh, mechanics in these games, for sure. I'm going to take these guys out just so I don't have to deal with them later. Oh, I'm taking way too many hits. Jeez. Yeah, the force is not with me just yet. Alright, there we go. And uh, yeah, the screen is insanely dark. I'm going to see if I can actually adjust it. Um, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing better than I can, which is right now not much. Or, or not very well, rather.
Yeah, it's generally a good idea to keep your shield up when you go into a new room. You never know what's going to be lurking in there. Especially right now, because I can't see a damn thing. firebombs. So there are firebombs all over this this area. Okay? And if you think that that's because the game is sending you a clue, it is indeed sending you a clue. The first boss, the first real boss is uh, weak to firebombs. Well, my my weapon's just disappeared again. I'm dealing with some some errors here. I think my controller might be uh, I think my controller might be actually having issues. Like the, maybe the D-pad is doing stuff by itself. Anyway, so yeah, the game heaps firebombs on you in this first area. And the reason it does that is because the first boss is weak to fire. So it's giving you a big heat. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm sure of it now. The game is definitely pressing D-pad buttons by itself. So I might need to get a new controller before I play the rest of this game. Um, hopefully not, because PS2 controllers are still really expensive for some reason. I just, I don't know, I hate wasting money. You know, it's not that they're expensive that bothers me, because I can afford it. You know, I can afford it. But, I just don't like to, to waste money on things that I don't think are worth it. And I don't think PS2 controllers are, are worth $45 these days, or whatever it is that they're going for. As a matter of fact, I think that's ridiculous. Somebody keeps dropping fire on my head, and I'm getting kind of sick of it. There's the cannonball that they rolled at me. Alright, at this point there's going to be some background noise in the video, and I apologize for that. That background noise that you hear, there, there's really not a whole lot that I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, that is my PS3 making a jet engine noise. Um... Once, I, once I'm playing a game for more than, I don't know, 10 minutes, it'll start doing that. Um, so, yeah. I might try to ventilate it a little better so it stays cooler. Um, to, just to prevent that kind of noise in the future. But that's, that's an issue to work on not right now. Yeah. Alright, now this is a section where you can unlock a shortcut, but I very often die here because I can't see a damn thing. Oh, I turned the brightness up to max, by the way. The brightness defaults to 5, and uh, you can turn it down or turn it up, and the max is 10. So I turned it all the way up to 10, and I can definitely see better than I could before, but yeah. The, the blacks are still very, very black. And I think a lot of the issue might be that I'm playing on an OLED, and uh, OLEDs, their whole, th their whole thing is high contrast, you know? So, I might be dealing with the negative side of high contrast right now. Alright, so you hit these two chains, and I believe something happens. Unless it's the other side where you hit the two chains. No, it's definitely this side, I think. Yeah, so I think that might have dropped something down to the lower the lower level. Um, that's not what I'm here for. Though. I'm here for the shortcut. Okay, take a moment to heal. Oh, for crying out loud. This is like an MC Escher maze. Yep, the spear is very good for that part. And this is the shortcut, I believe. 
Bling ring. Yeah, that's a very nice ring to get. Of course, I have all the rings. Um, jade hair ornament. Right, that's the thing that drops down if you break the chains. And that you give to one of the NPCs in the hub area. And uh, she'll give you something else. I don't recall what. In any case, so we unlocked the shortcut. Now I'm going to run back up the stairs, hopefully without falling off and dying. Um, which, in this particular room, is saying a lot. Oh, thought that was an enemy. It's just a, a ghost of another player. I like to keep my shield up while I run around. You know, fun fact, I started the Soul series with Bloodborne. And there aren't really any shields in that game. At least not any actually protective shields. So, uh... <laughs> I got used to rolling and dodging and all that stuff. And then I played Dark Souls 2, and as soon as I discovered the wonder of shields, I was more than happy to hide behind them every chance I could get. Anyway, what I was saying before is that I, um, I posted videos of Dark Souls like a year ago, but they were really primitive videos. It was when I hadn't really figured out video making yet. So there are a ton of glitches, you can't really hear what we're saying in a lot of them. Um, but I kept those videos up because they're such a good snapshot of what my early video making was like. Plus they have a friend of mine on them uh, who I never really get to hang out with anymore because he lives in another state now. Um, and he's on like some, some of them, some of those videos, I think like, you know, maybe a quarter of them. But enough for me to go, hey, that's pretty cool and it's pretty cool that I have those. So I keep those videos up regardless. But I think after this playthrough of Demon Souls, if it goes well, if it's a successful run and uh, I like the videos uh, as they turn out, I think I'll go ahead and replay Dark Souls, the first one, and uh, put those videos up as well. Like just put up a new, a new full playthrough of Dark Souls with what I know now about video making. And uh, then I can finally post my Bloodborne and uh, Dark Souls 2 videos. And then maybe after that, finally get to Dark Souls 3. Maybe maybe Neo. Neo will happen as well at some point. I don't know. I don't know if it's something that I would enjoy 100%ing. Man, I like it when you hit more than one enemy at once. That's like a very uh, gratifying thing when it happens. By the way, I have no idea where I am right now. I've never been to this part of the level. It's kind of an accident that I ended up here. Um, so I have to figure out how to get back up top. Which is not easy when you can't see a damn thing. Wait, here we go. This is... This looks like the way up. Ooh. See, the cool thing about a shield is you can attack from behind the shield, which means you're only vulnerable for very short periods of time. Unless, of course, you deplete your stamina, which is what just happened to me. And uh, he was able to knock my shield out of the way. So yeah, the key to playing Souls games is to watch your stamina at all times. Also, the key to playing Neo, even though it's not technically a Souls game. Now, for this one, obviously, I've got my 10,000 or <laughs> 10 million souls, and I'm going to be doing a delightfully overpowered run, um, just to kind of get revenge on this game for the six times I had to play it. So this is going to be a pretty easy run, hopefully. Pretty fast, pretty easy, um, fun to watch as well. Not really representative of how difficult the game actually is, because I'm going to make it look easy. Um, but the point is, it's going to be a fun watch. Let me just see what's over here real quick. And then my Dark Souls run. Ooh, wait. Dragons. Hang on. Hang on. Nice. Yeah, this is like a little side area. I know there's something good on the ground over there, but if you go and try to pick it up, they'll scorch you and basically one-shot you. 
Um, whatever it is, I'm sure I already have it because I, I believe it's a ring and I have all the rings already. Anywho, after this playthrough, I'll be doing Dark Souls 1. And uh, my Dark Souls 1 playthrough will be just from the ground up. You know, brand new game, new game difficulty, so very low difficulty compared to later uh, games anyway. Um, oh shit, what is happening? Oh my god, hide! How is this the first area of the game? Seriously, like how is this the first area? Oh shit, here it comes again. What am I supposed to do? I do not remember this. Okay, so now I just try to run across as fast as I possibly can. Sound about how these games always have a dragon just drive by you and how lame it is? Well, that's, that's what I was talking about right there. Okay, I think this is a shortcut. I hope it's a shortcut. That or it opens the way of the boss. Yep, this opens the way of the boss. Excellent. So now... We are almost there. I wish I had an evacuate spell or an item that let me uh, recall back to the nearest bonfire so that I don't have to run back. Um, I know there's a viable, at least I think there's a viable item that does that, but I unfortunately did not supply myself with that item. Hopefully this first video has been interesting. Um, this first video is basically just me outlining the plan of attack, if you will, and very gingerly making my way through the first couple of areas. Um, the time for speedrunning is going to be in the next episode onward. Although, to be fair, the next episode is also going to have a, a fair amount of uh, preparing. Oh, and spending. If you want to see me spend 10,000... <laughs> 10 million souls, tune in to uh, episode 2, because that's when I'm going to be spending uh, the 2 million souls. Um, and here we have the boss of episode 1, Phalanx. This guy, vulnerable to fire. So what that means is you just kind of throw... Well, first you use the black turpentine and you take out his, his minions. Actually, maybe don't use the black turpentine. Maybe just keep a distance and throw those fire bombs. Yeah, I think I am going to keep a distance. Yeah, you want to take out some of these uh, blobby things that are protecting you, which is kind of easier said than done. Because in order to get closer, you have to brave these spear things that he throws. Okay, boom. Firebomb time. I've created enough of an opening in the uh, blob phalanx that I can actually hit the, uh, the main blob with uh, my firebombs. Or at least I, I could if I could target it but the auto target is targeting everything except the main block. Oh, there's one right behind me. That's not good. This is the, the easiest first boss in the entire Soul series, by the way. No other first boss is this easy. And uh, if you're playing this game yourself for the first time, all you have to do is buy a bunch of firebombs from the dredgling, that dude that I was talking to earlier. So go back, see where he was, find him in your game, give him all your souls, uh, and then come back here and run over the boss. The boss is a complete joke with firebombs. The demon was destroyed! Very nice. Alright. So that's it for the first episode of uh, Demon's Souls. And uh, now we're going to journey to the Nexus, which is the main hub area of the game. 
where cool things are going to happen. So join me for episode two. I'm definitely looking forward to it myself.